good afternoon well my name is uh, som shekhar call me soma from uh, avi solar energy now we are one of the leading o&m service provider in the countries like in uh, different segment here and uh, today here in the next uh, 5 to 10 minutes what i'm going to show you is our experience you now we have been managing nearly an a uh, giga uh, what what solar assets in india i'll just show you some of the reality examples you know it's good to talk about all the designing issues and you know the videos looks good the photos are fantastic but we will tell you from our experience what is that you know is really happening we have been talking about 25 years of plant performance is it really happening or uh, not okay so the solar revolution in india is just getting out of the honeymoon period that's what uh, i would really call it as so gone are the days wherein as uh, mr sunil josh was mentioning every electrical contractor every civil contractor who has done the the epc so let's just uh, think about what is that actually it needs for a plant to run for 25 years successfully right so number one point i always say is you know choose a competent epc it's much more than just putting the structures there and you know digging the foundation there's much more than that it is or it may not be only the l1 guys i would say should win the contract I'm very sure people would realize it shortly but this is actually the most important thing the key thing in any epc it is more than the equipment of course the equipment is important but in our experience as uh, o and m we have seen plants in gujarat and rajasthan tamil nadu uh, ap telangana in all the 13 states basically the workmanship has been the key thing right especially we have seen this labels working during night the cables the foundations people don't really know what's underneath the foundation we have seen structures collapsing like anything live we have seen i don't show it here but then even from the biggest of the builders like cables cables are joined underneath one monsoon comes in you know where the problem starts right so these are the things you will get to know only after few years even if you buy a mercedes after four years you need to service it correct it's not that you put a plant together and it runs for all 25 years so workmanship is the key so ensure that you should supervise and inspect the work because finally it's subcontracting three or four levels of subcontracting and it's actually your own uh, uh, labors from the village actually doing the work now very important thing monitoring do not compromise on this people have purchased very expensive scada systems but we have seen many places they are just lying there because either it needed an high bandwidth uh, communication channel so sometimes they have it work in the control room but not after that now as you know our scada system you know you can just you know open your mobile and you can see what's happening right and there's another fact string level monitoring as you all know the tariffs has been coming down and people have compromised on all the equipments they said enough from the inverter if i get the data that's good enough for me but if you want to really see the leakages which is happening in the plant so i suggest if there are any developers here please go for a string level monitoring in the long run now anyhow i don't want to show any maths here but in the long run it will be really really beneficial so this is the epc i'll just show, show you some not to do stuff later i'll also talk about uh, operation maintenance so there is a myth here operation maintenance means it's grass cutting and module cleaning you know people also call it as glorified gardening right which is definitely not the case right so this is what actually typically people think of it's cleaning and vegetation control of course it's important but our recommendation decide the cleaning cycle people just look into either the tender or actually what the management has decided two or three times a month you know sometimes in rajasthan we have got plants you know people have dictated three times people are suffering they have got water and you know just to meet the contractual obligations and o&m service provider is supposed to do this right so be conscious about it definitely we don't want people to lose their generation if you really see that kind of an improvement we can do it but 
things like the dry cleaning are in place. Maybe it does work in northern states, but in uh, Tamil Nadu and Andhra we have seen, you know, there are more, uh, you know, bird poops than actually anything else, which even the, uh, you know, none of the robotic cleaning systems uh, help them, right. So, cleaning is important, overgrown vegetation, that is important, but some customers, they wanted the plant to look like a resort, that is difficult. Like the grass definitely should not come in, but then if you want to keep an entire 200 acre, 500 acre, uh, you know, like a, a completely clean shaven uh, land, then that is challenging. So, these are things actually we should be careful about, labors. Labors are important. See, I always uh, tell this, in our uh, company, we have formed an, a new loss strategy. Like, you know, all the soiling losses, we call it as a towel loss. You know what these laborers who come for the cleaning do? They put their towel on the uh, panels and then start their cleaning work, right? So, this is India. We have got many, many more challenges which you do not really see in Western and Western world, right? So, the art is totally different here. It is not about the beauty of the plant, it is about the performance and health. Now, what we do or actually what is important for you to demand from your O&M service providers is one is identifying and detecting the problems or as you all know, right, failure responses. So, what is that? We need to bring in some metrics, that is important, right. You have the log and actually ensure what is the mean time to detect, how fast you detect the problem, I think that is very important. Sometimes an inverter, not sometimes, you know, all the time, you know that the inverter down for one hour or in 30 minutes, you know how much loss actually that can cost to you, right. Then you should have a competent engineer at site. It is very challenging because engineers who prefer white collar jobs, they want to be in the city, finding somebody locally is actually challenging, but then you need to train him, you have to have a trained technician. So that is where, you know, mean time to resolve, we call it. This is the metric we, uh, you know, consider in Havi Solar. Mean time to resolve, how fast actually the problem gets resolved. The third one is, you know, central remote monitoring. Sometimes the site people will overlook some of the aspects, but here somebody as an uh, second option, right, as a plan B, basically in your headquarters, you can be monitoring the plan. This is where, where I said the inverter monitoring is, very, sorry, the string monitoring is very important. Then you need to, you need system experts in house, right. We have seen the best of the inverters, they promise all kind of guarantees, but when it really fails, they respond to the call, they raise the ticket, but the problem is solved after a very, very long time. Not to blame them, they have got so many installations in hand, they have subcontracted their service, uh, you know, that's their strategy. So, it's important to get trained from all these inverter manufacturers and see that at least the basic troubleshooting, we call it as a L1 or L2 levels, can be done actually uh, in-house but uh, or by your own technicians. Again, these problems will be very, very prominent as your plant gets more than 3 to 4 years old. First 2 years, everything is fantastic. You clean the module, you are done. Then preventive maintenance. So, how do we do this preventive maintenance, right? Of course, as part of our o &M checklist, there are actually checklist items, day in, day out, the engineer will uh, validate all these things, you know, including for example, on the, the transformer uh, oils, uh, right from the switch yard and the you know, inverter, they open the door and as you know, it is on remote location, the rodents just flow in, in inside your inverter room, there will be snakes, there will be all sorts of stuff, right. So, preventive maintenance is extremely important and uh, monitor and analyze the data. See, sometimes the small leakages, you do not see it, you know, it is not an actually direct, uh, you will not see when three or four strings are down. So, you just look into the pattern, right, compare the performance ratios and validate the insulations. So, it is very important to analyze the data as well. So, to summarize here, o and is a technical activity. So, please just do not depend on your house cleaning stuff please have some engineer or technical person at site, that is the appeal, right. So, some of the things actually I just want to show you some of our example, uh, I do not want to name any of the plants, but how designing is very important. See, in this particular case here, you can see that actually it is just really heating up the cables, that is because it stretched so much, the SLD does not say actually how to lay the cable, so I am talking about workmanship, right, so why an EPC work is important. So, finally what happens there, right, see then over the period of time here actually it is really getting uh, black, darker and one day you see this, it is the cable is gone. Now, you need to replace it and it is actually a hell of a lot of work to do all these uh, tasks. 
right? These are actually 185, 240 square mm cables, right? So some other things, module design, sorry, the structure design, fantastic. Everything works in the CAD or solid work, superb. But look at how the tables have been laid. They are not considered in all, what should be the height criteria from the ground, right? In all our videos or actually in the plants, we see, uh, you know, the, the tractors moving in between rows and it's all beautiful. But in reality, uh, I think Amit is, uh, you know, really smiling. Uh, in reality, the terrain is very, very difficult. And we don't bother because we have a deadline to meet. EPC project team actually has to hand over the uh, project to the O&M team. So land leveling cancelled, half feet above, it's okay. So that is the impact. Look at the loss of what we'll have in the later, correct? Right. So next, uh, no, major things, the MC4 connector, right? So typically what we do, from the string, the cable goes into a combiner box and then to the inverter. Now, the tariffs fell down, EPC prices has to drop, people came up with first Y connector, right? Two cables are combined, becomes a Y connection and then goes in there. But they did just calculate what should be my cable size when the current has increased, right? And they have chosen all sort of Y connectors. They have started combining three or four strings and making one bunch. The result is that, you know, everywhere it's all catching fire. Slowly the degradation is happening. This do you think the cleaning staff will understand? Never. But this can be really catastrophic. We have seen the huge, you know, the, the fire actually once broke out right underneath the modules. And in summer, it's extremely dangerous. The entire cable can be burnt out and the losses are very, very huge, right? So please be aware, there is a lot of technical stuff here. Hotspots. We say drone is good enough and all that. You know what? We have seen actually, you know, these kind of things underneath the panels. I don't know how, but we are seeing this. So, 25 years guarantee, wonderful, beautiful to talk about, but let us see, there are actually much more things than 25 years warranty, right? The degradation, the kind of degradation happening in the module, well, of course, we haven't, honestly, we haven't seen the numbers dropping down, by the way, but this physical damages actually are scary, right? This is one thing, the hotspots from the underneath. <coughs> uh, so, this we don't know, actually, you know, it should be even when the people, some places, they cutter, maybe a stone has actually felt up, what we see a hole right through the panels. This is another impact, snail trail, I think you know, many of you would have heard about this, right? In one of our 10 megawatt plant, we have already seen 80 percent of the top tire companies in China, okay, 80 percent are infected with so-called snail trails. Generation we analyzed, no issues as of now. But when do an hotspot analysis, we are seeing, really seeing hotspots. So solutions are yet to come. So just don't relax, check it out whether your plant is infected. Now, again, we are actually consulting experts, but one of the cause they say is the, uh, the, the back paper actually what we use in the panels, right? The moisture enter into the thing. That's again speculated, so don't uh, quote me that. Uh, we need to really find the solutions for this or actually consult the experts, right? So again, this is an basically an, uh, we do an analysis of thermal imaging, correct, which does show that, you know, wherever these kind of uh, unusual things which are seen on the panel, we do see some uh, degradations uh, happening there, right. So my appeal, don't be penny wise and pound foolish. When you have constructed a plant of so many crores, we have seen, you know, people talking about o and ms of, you know, for 1 megawatt, 2 lakh and all. that's the kind of discussion happening in the market. Of course, we need to save money, I don't deny that, but ensure that you do give time and analyze if the o and is necessary or not. So that's all I had uh, over to you.